Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how and why you would produce a scientific model. Uh, first, the content language objectives. The content objective is I can create a scientific model to show my understanding of a topic. Uh, the language objective is I can write questions and explanations to show my understanding of a topic. Uh, so first off, what is a scientific model? A scientific model is a way to show your understanding of a topic or a way to communicate your scientific ideas to others. Uh, oftentimes, if you just describe in words how something works or what something is or what you want something to look like, others may not have a good idea of what you're talking about uh, or if you have different misconceptions about how something works. Uh, so what are the components to a scientific model? There are really five things that you need to include. Uh, one, an explanation. What are you going to do or how does something work? Uh, two, pictures to show how you think something works. Uh, sometimes pictures are much better than words. Uh, uh, getting across how you want something to look or what you want something to be like. Uh, three, color always helps distinguishing between different things, and so that can be a great idea. Uh, include color even if it's just to show different parts, uh, not for artistic purposes. Four, uh, questions that you have, like legitimate questions, uh, things you're not sure about uh, for a project uh, or things you don't quite understand. Uh, and then five, labels. Any labels that you have uh, for the different pictures, for different parts, uh, different components that other people may need to distinguish between. Uh, you can use like a before and after picture. You can include numerous pictures, but those are the five main criteria. In case you want to look at some examples, uh, these are just some student-produced scientific models. The first one is how hearing works with waves. And so what you can see is the five different components are labeled here. There are questions that the students had, uh, pictures that show how hearing works with the ear, a color that's used to distinguish between different parts, uh, labels that show what those different parts are, and then an explanation. Uh, also, this student included in the bottom right corner uh, some vocabulary that might be relevant. Uh, finally, one last student example. Uh, there's a rocking bird phenomenon that we take a look at in physics. Uh, and so this, again, shows an explanation of how the student thinks this works, uh, labels for what uh, the student thought was a counterweight or a straw or a fulcrum, uh, color to distinguish between different parts or just to make things look nice. Uh, picture uh, and then a zoom in that you see in the bottom right corner. And then questions that the students have. Uh, this is the end of this video, providing an overview of how to produce scientific models and explaining what they're used for. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.